Hey guys, so I ordered a couple of items off of boohoo.com. This is my first order that I've ever placed with them and a lot of influencers that I follow on Instagram and on YouTube have been raving about this company. So I really wanted to check it out for myself and kind of give you guys an overview of my thoughts and if I would go ahead and recommend them to you as well. I work from home, so putting on a set that matches A, not only makes me feel super coordinated, but it also makes me feel a little bit more put together because I'm not lounging around all day in my pajamas. And a lot of the pieces that you guys are going to see are very neutral and very monotone, so I feel like if I am wearing them and I'm on a conference call, it does not make me feel or look lazy, which is nice. So the first piece or the first item that I actually bought is this logo tee. It is in a size large and it is very oversized to begin with. It goes down to my thighs. If it were up to me, I would probably pair this with a black set of leggings. I would also throw on like a purse and I would also wear this with like a white set of sneakers and I would look a little bit more put together and I wouldn't be embarrassed to walk out of the house looking like this. The second item that I got is just an oversized white t-shirt. Again, I would probably tuck it into a set of leggings and probably wear it with a white pair of trainers as well. This is in a size small. Next thing I picked up is this beige basic t-shirt. I think it was like literally $6 as most of these t-shirts were. And I paired it with a beige pair of sweatpants. Now these are in a size six and I would not mind sizing down only because they're kind of roomy which I don't mind if you're lounging around, you definitely want to be comfortable. And the bottom, I just went ahead and hemmed it once because they were kind of clownish looking. Yeah, you could wear this untucked, tucked, whatever, whatever you want. I think it's kind of cute. Now to match the sweatpants, they don't match exactly in color, but I also got this beige hoodie. It's an oversized hoodie and it is in a size small. I really love it. But I definitely think that I want to get the same exact color sweatpants to go along with it. The material of this sweatshirt isn't super thick like your average sweatshirt, so you can pair it and layer it with other jackets, which is quite nice. All right, and I also got a set of velour shorts that I absolutely love because they are so comfortable, but I would definitely size up in these if I could go back in time. I think it's really trendy right now, like the oversized shorts with the oversized t-shirt. Some girls can really pull that off and it's, it's adorable, but you know, for just lounging around the house, I absolutely love these and they're really, really nice. Got another set of sweatpants. Now these are I think they're their basic sweatpants and they do run a little tighter than the ones I showed you guys earlier. So I would have definitely sized up in these. These are a size six, I believe. And you could definitely pair this with like a black bag, put on like a set of white trainers. And again, I think this look definitely looks a little put together. I think this by far is my favorite thing that I actually got out of the whole haul along with that Newport Beach. And it is this like little play set. Um, it comes with longer shorts and it also comes with this loose t-shirt. Now, you can definitely wear this out and get away with it. I've been wearing it out only because the, the shorts are really long, really comfortable, and it doesn't make you look hoochie if you go out to the grocery store. You still match, pair it with a black pair of Vans or even, you know, you could just put on a crew necked t-shirt and you could be out the door and you look a little bit more put together without putting in barely any effort. Just throw on a purse and I mean, you're good to go. This crew neck is a little bit more thick. Uh, I would say that this is more winter appropriate, probably a little bit more difficult to layer, but it is quite nice uh, to put on top of a t-shirt or tank top. And the last item I got is this crop top crew neck sweatshirt. It's super lightweight. so. I definitely foresee myself wearing it here in Florida. I just went ahead and I rolled the sleeves and I think it's super cute. Now I'm not one to wear crop tops out in public. I will definitely be wearing a t-shirt underneath it or a tank top like I have here. But I definitely think that this is a, a cute option. All of the pieces that I got are very monotone, very neutral colors. So I feel like they are going to work together very well. And 
I'm one that doesn't like to think about my outfits a lot. If I can just grab and go, that works out even better for me. So I'm definitely on board for this trend of loungewear, activewear, matching sets, wearing them outside, and the big chunky jewelry. I don't know, I'm, I'm living for it. It reminds me a lot of like the 80s or early 90s. I'm really blown away with the quality of all of the items that I got. Uh, like I said, this is a, an extremely affordable brand, so I was really not expecting much, but blew my expectations out of the water. The sweatshirts are all like warm, cozy, and fuzzy. $7 for a pair of sweatpants or $10 for a sweatshirt. I mean, those are like Walmart prices. And these are all basics that I definitely foresee myself wearing in the future, especially now that all this stuff is kind of going into style. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.